Yeah, it's going to get hot again, but it won't be quite as humid. In fact, we'll go ahead and start things off with Comfort Tracker. You're going to feel the humidity again this evening into tonight. And I know those air conditioners have been working full time. If you don't have air conditioning, you're struggling. Uh, looks like you'll have to go through another uh, sweaty evening uh, this evening on into tonight, but it gets better over the next uh, couple of days. Let's take a look at temperatures right now across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Some rain cooled air in spots and that dropped the temperature down to 7. 71 over in Mercer, but once that rain came down, of course, it just makes it feel more humid. Uh, still in the mid 80s across Columbiana County, low 80s in Mahoning County. Uh, look at the dew point temperatures. This is where you measure that moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, still in the upper 60s, close to 70 degrees. So this starts to change, though. As we go into tonight, I'm expecting dew point temperatures to lower uh, right into uh, tomorrow morning. And as temperatures climb tomorrow, you're going to feel a uh, much different day out there. That's for sure. Here's Doppler radar still picking up on some light showers across uh, uh, parts of Mercer County, especially that's where the heaviest rain is falling. Now moving on over into Benango County, a light shower down at Grove City right now. And as the evening goes on, I'm expecting these isolated showers just to fall apart. Uh, the clouds that are currently in place will clear on out and look for a pretty nice night. The problem's going to be some fog that's going to develop as the night goes on into tomorrow morning, but the dry air will try to win out overnight into tomorrow. I'm expecting a dry day for your Tuesday. Temperatures do heat up. We'll be right back in the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Here's future tracker for the evening. Again, isolated shower as the evening goes on. It won't last much longer as the sun sets into tonight. Clouds will clear out. Watch for some of that fog, thick fog possible first thing tomorrow morning. By the time we go into noon, temperatures already in the low 80s, but lower humidity with this and right into the upper 80s tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Looks like nice weather are going to stick around for a few days before the showers and storms return to the forecast. 62 tonight, fog developing, uh, isolated shower early, especially over in Mercer County. Uh, tomorrow, temperatures right in the upper 80s, uh, lower humidity, as I mentioned. Watch for that fog early. The hot temperatures, they're with us all week long. 89 on Wednesday. I know the Columbiana County Fair are getting underway this week. It looks like a hot week for you, uh, at least through Friday. Now, as the week goes on, the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm will develop, especially by Thursday afternoon and mainly into Friday. The only little hiccup before that would be Wednesday night, a very small chance of an isolated shower or storm. So uh, the overall pattern becoming more unsettled as the week goes on. The humidity increases, the temperatures stay hot, hot on Friday, chance of showers and storms. Some of those could be strong late in the week, but the reward this weekend should be out of here by Saturday morning. Lower humidity, lower temperatures, and nice sunshine, almost like a, well, where it should be this time of the year, right around 80 degrees. <laughs> That's the normal high temperature, and it's going to feel good once we get through this week. Talk about a crescendo, huh? I'm just ready for the fall off afterward. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like this heat, about four to five more days, and we'll get it wiped out for a few days. All right. Thanks, Paul.